On Thursday, Toronto Police raided and closed 43 of the more than 80 medical cannabis dispensaries in the city, sending thousands of people back to the black market in the process. The operation, dubbed Project Claudia, led to 90 arrests, 257 charges, and the seizure of hundreds of kilograms of dried cannabis, extracts, and edibles, plus about $160,000 in cash. During a press conference the next day, Chief Mark Saunders showed off his spoils while attempting to justify the sweeping raids to residents, reporters, and protesters. This project has been going on for a number of weeks in response to significant community concerns and complaints about public safety issues regarding the drastic increase of these storefronts. Since March, the number of uh, storefronts have more than doubled, and I also want to be clear that uh, these locations have a broader impact on the surrounding neighbourhoods. There is no quality control whatsoever on these products, and as you can see, they are marketed in a way to disguise the unknown and unregulated amount of THC in the products. And almost half of the locations that we served search warrants on were within 300 meters of schools. In a city of about 2.8 million people, according to Saunders, only a few dozen of them felt strongly enough to sign petitions to close the dispensaries. Of course, the chief's ignoring the thousands of people who support and are helped by the shops. Why were their voices not factored into the decision? Why was their health and well-being not considered? What about the majority of Canadians who voted for a federal party that promised to legalize cannabis nationwide? Do their votes also not matter? We have 54, 55 complaints, but what about the thousands of people that these clubs are, are helping? What do, you, what do you suggest that these people go today? Back to the black market? Black, back to the alleyways? Do you think that's not a health risk, getting your medical marijuana from an alleyway? The chiefs claim that the pot stores pose a health and safety risk is similarly absurd. And not just because he provided absolutely no evidence that anyone was actually harmed by the businesses, even when pressed to do so. Do you actually have documentation from hospitals and stuff that prove that these are health concerns? Because these clubs have been around for 20 years and medical marijuana has been around for hundreds of years and has, has never killed anybody. So how could you justify that there's a health concern when really it's the most benign substance that humanity can ingest? With these closures, people are forced back to the black market where there really are no quality controls no labels and no requests for IDs or prescriptions. Shutting down dispensaries doesn't magically decrease the demand or the need for cannabis, which judging by the abundance of pot shops in the city is very high. Thanks to the raids, underground dealers will simply pick up the slack, and I'm sure they're grateful to Mayor John Tory and Chief Saunders for the opportunity. The Chief's health and safety argument is further flawed because more dangerous legal drugs are amply available all over the city. Alcohol and tobacco kill thousands of Canadians every year, but the cops aren't smashing down the doors of convenience stores and bars and stealing all of their products and profits. During the press conference, Saunders also pointed out that people can still access medical cannabis through one of the government-approved licensed producers. However, the current access program is too restrictive and costly for many patients, requiring frequent appointments and long wait times for orders. Furthermore, most doctors won't prescribe cannabis out of fear or ignorance. The Health Canada program is also too limiting for people hoping to get into the cannabis industry. Currently, only a small number of wealthy corporations are granted licenses to grow and sell. Unfortunately, despite these facts, Toronto Police promise the dispensary raids will continue. The Municipal Licensing and Standards Division will continue with our enforcement actions, utilizing all the tools available to us to gain compliance with the municipal bylaws at these locations that continue to operate on a go-forward basis. The ones that uh, are uh, that are still active, uh, we hadn't received complaints from those, um, but the investigation is still ongoing. Uh, if a dispensary is uh, is up and running, it is unlawful unless they have a license from uh, Health Canada, and if they are uh, distributing marijuana, then uh, they will be charged as well. While Mayor Tory ordered the raids, and Chief Saunders and his department carried them out, the crackdown is a direct result of the Trudeau Liberals in action. The federal government promised to fully legalize cannabis next year but has done nothing to stop arrests and raids in the meantime. As NDP leader Tom Mulcair recently asked, what the hell are they waiting for? At an election campaign stop in Winnipeg last summer, Trudeau criticized the Harper Conservatives for dispensary raids, saying the shop should be allowed to operate. Now that the Liberals are in power, raids have increased. Is this the real change we were promised? Is this what the Liberal plan to legalize cannabis looks like?